how long have you been nail biting for? Uh, I am 28 years old, so 28 years. So I've been my nails for my entire life. I have never owned a pair of nail clippers. I've never clipped my own nails. I've also never really tried to stop. So today, I'm gonna go to a hypnotherapist. She's gonna put me under and hopefully get me to stop biting my nails. I am here to be hypnotized today. What am I in for? So what's gonna happen is that I'm gonna put you in a really deeply relaxed state. Your brain's wavelengths drop. Your mind opens up and it gives us this window of opportunity where we can input all of these positive suggestions into your mind. What is the difference between hypnosis and hypnotherapy? In uh, theater shows, for example, it's mostly you know set up to, to be funny and lighthearted. With hypnotherapy, it's it's about retraining the mind to do whatever it is that the person wants it to do. So you should be able to notice a difference after the first session. And what would you say to maybe like a skeptic? You don't even have to believe in it. Just want it to work. That's it. Sure. Are you ready? I'm ready. Your mind is crystal clear on this. Crystal clear on this. Your fingers stay far away from your mouth and your fingers stay far away from each other. No matter what. All right, so I've just been hypnotized for the first time. How do you feel after? I feel really relaxed. Um, just, I'm a lot kind of calmer than I was when I came in. Mm -hmm. Overall, my first experience with hypnotherapy was super cool. There was a lot of really weird things that happened that I couldn't quite explain. When she was putting me under, she said that my arm would start falling closer to my face and immediately it just kind of started ticking down towards my face. As far as the therapy aspect of it goes, I'm not fully convinced yet. I've been picking at my nails a lot. I've caught myself biting them a few times. And even in the car ride on the way home from the hypnotist, I was biting my nails. I looked over and I saw his fingers in his mouth and I saw him biting his nails. An hour and a half after the hypnosis. Change <laughs> takes time. <laughs> So Patrick, welcome back. Thank you, it's good to be back. I'm really happy with the results. I'm really happy with how you've been doing. Mm -hmm. And so today is gonna be all about reinforcing. Many times people think that when it comes to hypnosis, that it's like magic. That in one snap, whatever the issue was, is gone. But it really takes reinforcement to retrain the mind. You understand that our hands have contact with different surfaces, literally thousands. But I'm gonna count from zero to five, and when I get to five, you're gonna be able to open your eyes, and so zero. One, feel your toes. Two, feel your back. Three, bringing your breathing back up. Four, you believe in yourself. And five, wide awake and feeling great. And welcome back. <laughs> I think I actually went a lot deeper in this one. Awesome. Well, you do beautifully with hypnosis. I had a great time going through this whole process with you. So I expect good things and I will stay in touch with you and we will go from there. So I think I can confidently say that hypnotherapy actually works pretty well. After just two sessions, I definitely noticed a huge decrease in how much I bite my nails. And look at my nails. No, I'm just kidding. They still look like complete <laughs> but it hasn't been that long yet.